Come on, Maria. Let's get out of this industrial monoculture to where peasants grow real food. Ah, this is more like it. Peasants know that diverse landscapes are resilient to heat waves and other impacts of climate change. Peasants use and protect 100 times more biodiversity than the industrial chain. Speaking of diversity, I've never seen a banana so colorful and tiny. Why haven't I seen this before? It doesn't travel or store well, so you have to eat it fresh. There are hundreds of banana varieties that you have never seen. Peasants have nurtured more than 7,000 crop species like this and have bred and shared over 2 million crop varieties. Okay, so what does the chain produce? The chain doesn't want to mess with diversity. It focuses on a couple dozen crops and has patented only 100,000 plant varieties. Would get this! The big companies spend almost half their research budgets on one commercial species, maize. And this getting worse. The genetic diversity has dropped by three quarters since the 1960s and the nutritional value of crops has declined by about a third. Fewer choices of worse food. Give me a break. Oh, hello there. Who are you? This is an ox. One of more than 34 livestock species that peasants have domesticated along with almost 9,000 unique breeds. The chain, surprise, surprise, only works with five species and less than 100 breeds. And don't get me started with fish. Peasants will often fish and farm. They harvest at least 35,000 different species of freshwater and marine fish. Industrial toilers go after a few hundred, but concentrate almost entirely on just five species and leave a lot of damage in their wake. The chain is betting our future on so few species. And they are leaving us on shaky ground. The chain is destroying the crop and livestock genetic diversity that peasants have nurtured and that the world needs to survive climate change. Forest diversity is crucial to peasant people as they make use of 80,000 forest species for food, fuel and medicine. These areas are being clear-cut by the industrial chain just to make paper and construction materials, grow livestock feeds and export meat and dairy products. The bees and birds that pollinate our crops need diverse landscapes too. Not to mention that the chains, herbicides and pesticides wreak havoc on soil microbes and other important species. The food system is so intertwined with ecosystems and communities, we have to protect it from the chain. Wait till I show you how much the chain is costing the world. <laughs>